Uh, so our project was an automatic guitar tuner. Essentially, you put the guitar on the stand, you attach the motors. Uh, down here, you're able to select which string that you want to tune, and then push the like the tuning button, so the motors will rotate and tune the guitar to a, uh, to its in tune. Um, it'll even like if it over tunes, it'll tune back the other direction until it gets centered in the right right place. And it doesn't matter if it's tuned too high or tuned too low, it'll still tune back to the right frequency that it needs to be. Um, so what are you using to record the sound? You're just using a microphone signal and then you're it's, measuring? It's the, the, standard, the standard signal that you would have for like an electric guitar. You would just plug it in directly in. Uh, we, have, we actually have the amplifier circuit built into it. Yeah, it's got a preamp so built just, in. So it filters out the noise and it only keeps the signal that we want. And then it compares it to a voltage that we have that, that's supposed to uh, signify that particular frequency. Um, and then it compares the two and it says, you know, if it's over-tuned, you know, send out a high voltage, and if it's under-tuned, send out a low voltage, and so then it sends it to the motors and uh, tells the motors to tune. So does it work? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, can we have somebody else actually do the demonstration? To show ease of use? Dude, I don't want to break your stuff. I don't know if we want it to get the motor blocked by now. So, first we're going to reset. There's an off-on switch. So this is just like a regular guitar tuner yeah, to we show have, that it's out of tune. This is a proof tune. that it works. It has no part in the actual circuit. Yeah. So the so, string is out of tune right now. So, so you just push this button. It's hold that go button down. Go. Just keep pushing. Hold it down. Hold it down. And now so the motor is stopped. He's still holding go down. One do I like that? As soon as the motor now, stops. Once the motor stops. There you go. What? And so we have a tuning guitar tune. right there. So this guy's plucking the string here? Yeah, that's yeah. what's vibrating the string. Okay, so next so string. You can push select so one, one time. It should the display increments. A. You have to move the Evo and then push go. Motor will stop. And just to verify that it's in tune. Oh, select, move the Evo, and push go. And you're using servo motors for this? It's a hacked servo. Hacked servo. It's, it's, it's just the no actual servo. DC motor. We took out the, the, the servo controller. circuit, yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. Move the Evo, push select, and push go. How did you get it out of tune so you can try to test? Well, we just, we just twist like, them. Yeah. Yeah, this, there should be some high and some low. I don't know if. We haven't really said which way they're going, but we turned them like one way this way, one this way, some more than others. There you go. Same tune. Let's move it on. Hold on. This is three. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's backwards. We, we did E because it's a low E and you can't really do a low E with a seven segment display. All right, I'll give it a try. <laughs> so what if you don't place that correctly? Well, possible? there's no matter of placing it correctly. You just have to make sure the string is vibrating. If you push go and the string's not vibrating, then it's going to be a, a random behavior, and it's. I mean, it should. I guess it technically should turn it tighter if this isn't on here, and that's bad because it's just going to break the string. So you do need to make sure the string is vibrating. Okay, so just. Yeah, that's why we have like the, like the sort of like the the push like the push button to, to make it go is so that you can. Wait until you know that this is the string is vibrating. So right now, if you if you pushed go on a string, if you it push would go on a string, it's gonna it run. would just rotate. Don't do it too long. It would. It'll like, break the. String. Yeah, it'll end up breaking the string. But I mean, and if it's already tuned, if you have the Evo on there, it should move it off. Yeah, if it's tuned, it'll put it back on the first one. Yeah, exactly. Put it back on the first one. Try again. This D, right? Yeah. Still move. Or just it, it had some initial movement, maybe. It shouldn't. Should you go ahead and try another one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. Okay. Come on. Okay. As long as it's on there, it should always come back to tune yeah. before too long, anyways. And, so, and we use this because it, it'll give more of a constant, like a more accurate vibration. Than because if you pluck it with your finger, then then sometimes the string won't vibrate as accurately. And so this is a way to ensure a, a more accurate tune. So I don't know. I know nothing about guitar. So is it